where motors replaced labor and physical activity, we now have AI, these AI supercomputers, these AI factories that I talk about, they're going to generate tokens to augment human intelligence, right? And human intelligence represents what? 55, 65% of the world's GDP, let's call it $50 trillion. Mm. Mm. And that $50 trillion is going to get augmented by something. And so let's use let's come back to a single person. Suppose I were to hire a $100,000 employee and I augmented that $100,000 employee with a $10,000 AI. Yes. And that $10,000 AI as a result made the $100,000 employee twice more productive, three right. times more productive would I do it? Right. Heartbeat. Yeah. I, I'm doing it across every single person in our company right now, mm -hmm. right? Every they single, all have co-agents. That's right. Every co-workers. That's right. Every single software engineer, every single chip designer in our company already has AIs working with them. 100% coverage. Yeah. As a result, the number of chips we're building is better, the number is growing, the pace at which we're doing it is, right? And so we're we're growing faster as a company. As a result, we're hiring more people. Our productivity is greater. Our top line is greater. Our profitability is greater. What's not to love about that? Yeah. Now, apply the NVIDIA story to the world's GDP. Yeah. Basically, what you're saying is the world's GDP growth is going to accelerate because now we are giving the world billions of coworkers that will do work for us. And if GDP is an amount of output for a fixed amount of labor and capital, right. it has to accelerate. It has to.